Hey, what's going on, family? This is Ed from Ed Travels, and I just felt compelled to make this video about the video that's gone viral um, in Montgomery, Alabama, about the big brawl, the melee that happened at the riverfront in Montgomery, Alabama. You might be asking, what does that have to do with travel? Well, to me, this channel sometimes has to touch on subjects that are far more than just destinations to go. Because this kind of hits home for me because I grew up early in my life in Montgomery, Alabama. I went to school in Montgomery, Alabama. My grandmother was one of the first students and graduates of, uh, I think back then it was called Montgomery or Alabama Normal College, but it was eventually became Alabama State University. And I used to live close to there. So when I saw this brawl yesterday, immediately I sort of looked at it differently. There was a lot more emotion and, and it, was, it, it was just different. It wasn't just a normal brawl. And upon watching the video a couple of times, and of course the, the memes came out immediately because we live in a social media society, and all of the posts back and forth, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, you know, the normal places. I saw something was different. It was deeper than that. You know, and it happening where it happened, I think the universe meant for that to happen. And let me explain to you why I say that. Um, I'm gonna post a link to a video from Rebel HQ, Fair Use. Um, that's going to give you some context and it explains the situation a lot better than I can. But it happened at the bend in the riverfront, which back in the 1800s became uh, a drop off point, a depot for the slave trade in the U.S. Montgomery was a major hub. And um, uh, up in the 1860s, I believe, Montgomery got to the point that there were over 435,000 slaves that were housed in Montgomery. They had to build warehouses to house them like property, like livestock. So that's a very painful place, especially for black folks in America. And for this event, and I'm gonna call it for what it is. I hope I don't get struck, but whatever. Cause this is, can't help but bring up the racial you know, aspect of this that these white boaters parked their pontoon boat wrong. You had a black dock worker who was simply doing his job and they felt it necessary to escalate and make it violent. And then everybody responded in kind, in turn. And now this is going viral, but again, it's much, much, much deeper than just a fight over where you parked your pontoon boat. It's, it's emblematic of where America stands in our in this racial divide that we live in. And I can't help talk about this, but talk about our former president, who's constantly on the news here, but also who became a drum major and stoked racial tension in America. Yes, I said it. Stroke racial tension with, with threats, veiled threats, not so veiled threats, and dog whistles to white nationalists and devout racists. And I can't help but believe that at some point, some of these people are not happy right now based upon everything that's going on. And maybe alcohol played a role in it, but I also believe that in Montgomery, there's a lot of racial tension. There's no way you can travel around that city without seeing um, symbols of the civil rights movement and the, and the history. Montgomery was the capital of the Confederacy. After the Southern states seceded, they met in Montgomery to establish the, the, the Confederacy. It was the capital of the Confederacy. But also on the flip side, uh, Dexter Avenue Baptist Church where Martin, Martin Luther King became the face and started the Civil Rights Movement. That's where Rosa Parks was arrested for not giving up her seat on the bus. That's where the bus boycott took place. So Montgomery has a very diverse and tragic and yet triumphant history as it relates to the civil rights movement and the slave trade and 
American history and the Civil War in so many different places. So I ask you, as some people are making jokes, people are sharing memes, to not just look at what happened, but why it happened and the emotion and the pain and the struggle that still exists. Again, this is Ed Wanamba with Air Travels. Not trying to tell you what to think, just encouraging you to think. I love you guys, and there's nothing you can do about it. Peace.